I like Joseph Gordon-Levitt as an actor and especially his character Arthur in Inception. He is a lifelong friend of the main protagonist Cobb, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, which I covered in my previous episode, which you can watch here if you haven't already. Yet in the real world, Arthur is dressed quite differently. And when he wakes up with a bang, he is wearing a beige three-piece suit, a white shirt and beige and blue necktie. Beige is quite a light color, but can work for most people. The light shirt and necktie flatter Arthur because he has pale skin and black hair. His dark hair adds some contrast to his overall appearance. I would probably wear a blue or black shirt with a beige suit to prevent myself from looking washed out as I have pale skin and no hair and would need the clothes to add some contrast. Location can also affect how you look and a light suit works well in a hot and sandy country like Morocco in this sequence but might not work so well in a cold climate. However, when they screw up a job for some powerful people, Arthur has ditched his suits for a more fugitive friendly suede overcoat. Suede is a much easier fabric than leather to match and wear, but just as durable and even better in the rain than leather, though many people believe the opposite about suede. It's an excellent consideration for an overcoat if you're on the run, but like Arthur's above the knee length coat, don't buy one that is too long, you don't want to look like a reject from the Matrix. Like Cobb with his black and grey wardrobe, Arthur has a similar carefully chosen colour code focusing on brown, beige and warm colours. In this scene he places a brown v-neck sweater over a shirt and tie. Although you also see men with crew neck sweaters in this way, I think it is too fussy and the v-neck gives the necktie a little more breathing space. He wears a dark blue pinstripe shirt for balance, but wears dark brown pants and later throws on a warm grey jacket for that wonderful MC Escher staircase sequence. Arthur keeps the jacket and pants, but dons a much darker brown shirt and a more striking necktie. It has sophistication woven throughout, as it looks cool when done right. However, it is easy to get wrong, and you will attract the ire of staunch traditionalists who insist the shirt should always be lighter than the jacket. There is actually a good reason for this. If you are interested in the rules of classic style, you should read The Excellent Dressing the Man by Alan Flusser. But like any discipline, once you learn the rules, you are free to break them and make the style your own. Our next brief episode will take a quick look at Thomas Hardy's very colourful wardrobe before returning to some genuine Bond action with Casino Royale. So stay tuned and please like and subscribe.